Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to easily create a GIF. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new videos every single week to help you grow your online business. So if that's something that you are looking to do, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, so the tool that we're going to use for this is Canva, of course, my favorite. I think I recommend it in like every single video. So in my last video, I shared with you five reasons why I think you should upgrade to Canva for work. And here is another reason. So they actually have a built-in GIF maker, but you do have to be on the Canva for work plan, which is just $12.95 per month. Especially if you're using Canva quite a lot in your business, then it is definitely worth it. So check out my previous video for the other reasons. So in Canva for work to create your GIF, all you need to do is start out with whatever dimensions you want. I'm going to go with an Instagram post. And then you just need to add in whatever elements you want to animate. So for example, for me, I'm going to use this arrow and I'm going to try and get people to watch one of my videos. So I'm going to put my arrow, I'm going to add in some text, okay, and I'm going to add in a little graphic of my last video. I'm going to add that in. Okay, so this is just quick for <laughs> demo purposes. Of course, you can spend a bit more time constructing your design. So that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to head over to download and change this here with this drop down arrow, change this to animated GIF slash movie. Now this is an experimental feature, but I've found that it works great and was able to use it for a recent promotion I did. So you're going to click preview animation and it is going to bring up six different styles that you can use. So for example, this is the rise, then we have the bounce, which looks like that, the slide, so the elements will slide in, the block, which looks pretty cool, the 3D, and the fade. So go through these styles and choose whichever works best for the animation that you have created. And then you can download as a movie or a GIF, and that's it. That's all that you need to do. And you have now added some movement to your images. So another thing you can do is you can actually stack other elements before this. So if I click add new page and then I move this to the top, I can just do something simple, for example, like change the background color. And then I can add a new page to the end. And let's say I want to finish it off with my logo. So I can do that. I'm going to make this a bit smaller and center that. All right, cool. So now let's see what that looks like in full. I'm just going to click download, change this to animated GIF slash movie, preview animation. And now as you can see, it has just added these elements together. And that's it. So super simple. Most of the time, if I'm sharing on social media, I just download it as a movie, but it does depend on where you're going to be sharing it. So that's it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them for me in the comments below. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I can't wait to see all of the gifts that you create. If you do create some gifts and post them on Instagram, then make sure to tag me at Solopreneur Sidekick. If you like this video, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.